Hello to all and welcome to this, this channel GeoGuru. In this video we are going to learn about how do we can perform some basic GIS digitization in the Google Earth Pro. So let's begin. Suppose if you want to digitize or make any map and you don't have any GIS software, either IGIS or QGIS, then you can always do some basic GIS processing like creation of layer, editing of layer in the Q Google Earth Pro itself. So how do we do so? Just open the Google Earth Pro and zoom into the required area. Suppose this is the area I want to digitize. Okay, so any map, any feature in any map can be represented either by point, line or polygon and Google Earth Pro allows us to digitize all these three, three kind of layers. So first of all, we will try to make a point. So in order to create a point, you have to click this yellow button that is add place mark. In the Google Earth Pro, point is also known as place mark. I just click on this and uh, <coughs> by default, uh, you will get the uh, icon of this yes yellow color, but you can change by clicking on this and you can change according to your own use. For example, I just to click this and uh, and you have to give this name and bef before pressing this OK you have to give all this detail like uh, I have to give this like police headquarters and before clicking on OK you should have uh, you should make sure that it is placed on the right uh, place it should be placed in the right exactly on this area of interest so I you can drag it over here and uh, I'll just click OK OK uh, if I want to create another point like uh, this is a super mart so I have to again go to this add place mark drag my point to this super mart and if you want to change this icon you can do or you just we can just add this yellow place mark that is by default icon and uh, I can give the description also. Uh, first of all, I will change the name like a uh, supermart. I can add the description. This description can be accessed in the attribute table in any GIS software like uh, DMART. Okay. We can change the label color like it is in the red. We can change to any one we any color we want like uh, brown. And we can change the color of the icon also and we just have to click OK. Now we have just saved this two place mark that is point mark that is police headquarter and supermart. OK now if you want to export this as a KML file you have to right click on this and click on save place as and it will be stored as uh, the name of this um, place mark you can change according to your own need or you can save it as a KMZ file or KML file okay like this is the police headquarter I want to save it but now if I, if you want to prepare more number of points or line or polygon then you have to create a separate place mark or line or polygon and you have to save it separately and if you don't want to do this kind of analysis if you want to do like uh, mm, all the things come in a one place then you have to create a folder and in order to do that I'll just create a folder like uh, add. I have to right click on this my place, click on add folder. So I will give me as my data. If you want to give any description, you can, but I don't want to give it now. So what I will do, I'll just remove these two icons. So I will click uh, add some points like place mark. ID like uh, this is the police headquarter. I'll just can name the police P O L I C. Okay. Now, if I want to add another point that is place mark, I'll just drag it to my area of interest. Like this is the supermart. I'll just click save. Now after creating the two points, if you want to create a line, like if you want to trace a road railway network, so we have to create a line and in the Google Earth Pro, line is also known as 
path so if you put your mouse over this button it will return as add path I'll just click on this before clicking on OK you have to trace your path and if somehow by mistake you click on wrong position you just click backspace and you can continue with your tracing and if you want to end your tracing just click OK over here and before clicking OK if you want to give any description if you want to give any name just give it like uh, this is the known as maybe VIP road so this is just a name of a road and if you want to add any description so this is like NH25 and you can change the style also the style of color it is only written line you can change the color like I want to display as a red I can change the width of my road I can change the opacity opacity means transparency and just click OK and I can also measure the length like this is the this road uh, which I have digitized is of 2.65 miles if you want to change the unit you can change like this is of 4.26 kilometers and I have to click OK now this VIP road has been saved as a path and if you want to create some another road so again we have to click over this add path and uh, we have to digitize and in order to close before closing we will just have to give the name like uh, VIP road 2 and uh, just, just want to change the color change the thickness ok now we can see there are two roads to path that means VIP road and VIP road 2 now the third step is to create the polygon so either you can create the polygon by clicking on this button like add polygon or if you want to create uh, this polygon you can do it by right clicking on this folder and clicking on add now by this you can place a point a place mark you can add a path now we have to add a polygon so before clicking ok we have to create a polygon in order to create a polygon this is the simplest step as we have performed for the line and the polygon so as you can see this as I have continuing tracing the boundaries of this lake a white portion has been covering showing my polygon and if somehow I mistakenly click on some wrong points I just have to click backspace and will continue my work and if I came to know that yes uh, my digitize has been completed I have to click OK but before that uh, I'll just give my name like uh, this lake is known as lower lake ok we can change the style like uh, I just want to change the color I can change the uh, sorry this is the color of lines that means the boundary ok so I'll just uh, increase the thickness and this is the area of the color so if you want to make this as a hollow you can click on outline so this polygon will become as a hollow and we'll click on ok so before clicking on ok let's just see what is the measurement so the parameter of this area is 5.33 kilometer and the so the parameter of this polygon is 5.33 and the area is 0.28 square kilometers I click on ok now we can see this under the folder my data we have two place marks that is point police and supermart we have two uh, lines that is path that is VIP road and VIP road and to and we have a polygon that is low lay and if you want to export this as a KML layer you just have to right click on this my data click on save place as and you can convert this formula that is KMZ or KML and the data will be saved as 
a complete folder. So in a single KMZ file, all this feature will be there. If you open in any GIS software, it will be open with the all the information that we have provided. So that's it for today guys. If you found the content of this channel interesting, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you found uh, this video informative, then please like and share this video. Thank you.